So I actually filmed this like three or three days ago, but I had to like discard it because the footage was shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing the Camellia Cosmetics line. Camellia Cosmetics is a Malaysian owned brand and I was pretty excited to try it out because I came across your Instagram page and I was just blown away. I loved the color schemes, how everything was kind of like coral, very orangey and you can never really go wrong with orange kind of tones. It works well on every skin tone. So, and it kind of fit like the whole summer kind of vibe and especially now with Malaysia being super hot and humid. Uh, so I was really excited to try it out. I'm actually wearing the look now and I just get into this, get into this glow. Camila Cosmetics, you are responsible for this. I just, I love the whole, you know, the whole vibe of it and I have, obviously I have thoughts and opinions on this line. And so if you're interested, do continue watching the video. That's where I'll be really like diving into the products. As for now, you know what? I'm just gonna bask into this. But before you do, do make sure you subscribe and join the Hot Nation. I'd love to see you guys, you know, watch my videos and get some sort of value from it. And also do follow my Instagram and my TikTok. That's where I'll be posting a lot more regularly. Uh, I'll also be posting the link to Camila Cosmetics down below. And that's where you guys can check it out. Their products are pretty cool. And uh, mind you, I did not get all their products. I wanted to get the blush, but unfortunately the shade that I wanted, they, they did not have it. So I just end up getting what I personally think that I would use on a daily basis. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the review. So I'll be starting off with skin prep. I'll be priming my face before heading into foundation. I'm using this Etude House Face Primer. I find that this really does blur out my pores. My pores will still be there, but it does give out an even canvas for you know the foundation to glide on easily. I also love how this has SPF 50 in it. Now that we're done with priming, I'm just gonna go on top of it with powder because I find that this method really does help reduce the shine and the oils on my face throughout the day. What this does is that it forms a barrier between the skin and the foundation, so it really does keep you looking matte and fresh throughout the day. So for base makeup, I'll be using the Camellia Cosmetics Mermaid Skin Foundation. I'll be using Praline, which is a darker color around the perimeter of my face. And then I'll be using the shade Vanilla on the center of my face. But before that, I'll be going in with a color corrector under my eyes and areas where I need it. So moving on to foundation, I have the shades of Vanilla and Praline, and Vanilla is a much brighter, neutral cool tone, whereas Praline is more of a deeper golden tone. And I'm gonna go in with Vanilla just right around my face, where, you know, on the spots where I want it to be brighter, and I'll be using Praline on the outer perimeters of my face. The Mermaid Skin Foundation is lightweight and non-greasy. It definitely does spread and blend easily and the coverage is, you know, it's pretty buildable I would say. I'm using just enough to cover my whole face but I'll definitely be building up the coverage as I go along. Now mind you, I've definitely color corrected so I'm not gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna use two layers of the foundation on areas where I need to, you know, have extra coverage. I definitely love the flexibility of the foundation and how it just blends out seamlessly. Now there was definitely a difference in the undertones and as well as the shades itself that I got but you know what, I'm actually really happy with how seamless it is on my face as I blend it out. I've applied two layers on areas where I need, which is like my under eyes and like the redness around my nose and my chin area. 
And I'm not gonna lie, it actually does work pretty well as a concealer as you build it up and blend it out. So this is what my skin looks like after powdering off camera. I just love how matte it looks but it's also very luminous. Now going in with the Rimmel Contour Palette, I'm just gonna use this as a contour my face as well as to define my eyes. I use the bottom of the Rimmel Palette as a contour because it's more cooler toned. Now moving on to the Camila Cosmetics lip products, these are the ones that I got from their entire line. I'll be using the shade Daria on my lips and Daria is a medium tone burn orange tone. I actually wanted to get one of their blushes but unfortunately they didn't have the shade I wanted so I'm just going to use the same shade Daria on my cheeks as a blush. Now one thing about this mermaid lip cream is that it is definitely very pigmented but it's also still very lightweight. So you know it definitely does feel pretty light on my lips and my skin doesn't feel greasy or anything so I have definitely come to appreciate this product. I'm definitely also loving the warm tones of this lip cream and I just love how it's giving me a very nice natural blush. Since I want this to be an almost full review of using Camille Cosmetics, I'll be using the same lip cream on my eyes as well. I usually wouldn't do this, but since the lip cream is pretty lightweight, I'm just gonna use a bit of it on my eyes. Going back to the Rimmel palette, I'm just gonna use the top row where it's warmer tone, and I'm just gonna use that to further define my eyes. Moving on to highlight, I have the shade Trident, and Trident is a pure gold shade that would instantly warm up your look. I was instantly blown away by how pigmented it is, and you know, it's super finely milled, so it's not chunky. It really does give you like a very nice highlighted glow. I was really, really excited, y'all, because the glow is real with this one, and it's not every day you get to see a gold highlighted look. I'm gonna be using this on the high points of my face and I'm also gonna be using in a little bit of it in the inner corners of my eyes as an inner corner highlight. In my opinion, I definitely recommend this for all golden hour people out there who love taking selfies under warm golden sunlight. Just look at that. Look at that. I love their glosses because although it's very sheer, it has a lot of pigment in it and you know, it doesn't feel greasy or heavy like some of the glosses. It definitely has a lot of nourishing ingredients in there to keep your lips moisturized throughout the day. If you guys want to check it out, I've included the link to Camellia Cosmetics down below and I wish you guys a great, great day.